Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review and today I'm reviewing the 86 rated UEFA Champions League road to the final Jadon Sancho of Borussia Dortmund. This card looks absolutely quality and I was able to pick him up for 250,000 coins and in the four games that I played with he scored me six goals also got me two assists and he also does have a four star big thoughts as well as five star skill moves. Moving along to his game stats, his main stats are going to be his 85 vision. His uh, 92 agility as well as his 91 balance and uh, finally his 93 dribbling and I did also have the artist chemistry star applied to this Jadon Sancho card. And uh, I'm currently just looking at Borussia Dortmund in their uh, Champions League group at the moment. It, it, you know, it's still a pretty open group. They could technically still finish bottom in the group. All of the teams can still go through. Um, only Barcelona, I think even Barcelona can still technically finish bottom as well on like goal difference. So it doesn't come down to goal difference. It comes down to a uh, head-to-head -head record. It's a bit complicated and how the, the group stage works at, at times but uh, yeah Barcelona have currently got 8 points Dortmund is 2nd on 7 uh, Inter Milan 3rd on 4 and then Slavia Prague on 2 points and uh, Dortmund do have to play Barcelona away next followed by their final game being home to Slavia Prague so um, technically you'd expect them to beat Slavia Prague so they'll get 10 points even if they lose against Barcelona, they should get 10 points, theoretically, um, which is 9 times out of 10. 10 points is usually enough to get you through into the last 60 in the Champions League, which is obviously, you, Dortmund have got to finish in the last six, oh, I've got to finish in the top two positions for this Sancho card to go up to an 87 rated. But in terms of how he's to use in FIFA 20, I think he's a good card. I, I haven't used his goal, well, I think I used his loan card um, right at the start of FIFA, but I never reviewed him. But this 86 card is really, really good. Yes, his shooting and passing stats overall, like 77 shooting and 79 passing don't look the best actually in game his shooting and passing stats are quality yes he's only got 66 long shots and 60 penalties but he's got awesome volleys really good positioning and also decent finishing at the same time and then passing wise he's absolutely fantastic he's got 85 vision and 85 short passing his other passing stats don't really uh, don't really matter that much and obviously even his crossing as well goes up from 80 to 88 with um or that artist chem style, but uh, his first brother will be his pace. He is really quick. I mean, 96 acceleration and 87 sprint speed. He's got 80 stamina as well, which is fine for a winger overall. I mean, occasionally he would get a little bit tired towards the right back end of games, but we're talking maybe like the last five minutes or something, really, um, when he'd only ever really get tired. It wasn't that much of an issue, but um, when his pace bar is like really high, he is fantastic. He can outpace so many players, no doubt about that. He is really, really quick at bombing down that right hand side. Um, it allowed basically, I just go on insane runs with this cards um, right down the wing from like pretty much the halfway line and sometimes he go on and score goals and it was obviously down to having his pace being enabled to kind of you know create chances for himself or either you're know, going to make passes on to other players and try and get like an assist or something like that but pace wise big big uh, asset to this card a second pro as well will also be his finishing 83 finishing um, 85 volleys 83 positioning is fantastic his shot power and long shots don't look great in my opinion long shots for a winger don't really matter too much I mean shot power it would be nice if it was a little bit higher but to be quite honest I mean I thought his finishing was fantastic, you know, in game. I mean, six goals in the four games. Certainly from close range, he's a good finisher. There's no doubt about that. And he could still drive the ball pretty well past goalkeepers. No question about that. Near post finishing. Um, good on his left and right foot, I have to say. Uh, finishing, I mean, it was a great return. Uh, and it has to go down as another big pro to the card. His third pro will also um, be his dribbling. Again, that was fantastic as well. 92 agility, 91 balance. And the artist chemistry style does take his agility all the way up to 99. It takes his balance up to 96. His dribbling as well go to the internet and obviously combining that with the five star skill which makes him an absolute joy to use down that right hand side which is fantastic and um, yes you know there are a lot of awesome uh, right midfielders that we've already seen in FIFA 20 it's getting a bit ridiculous actually how many special cards we've already had for right midfielders I mean just in this promo alone we've got like you know Mares right wing Dembele right wing Sancho right wing it's, it's ridiculous how many good right midfielders there already are in FIFA 20 there's so many to choose from and also from SPCs, Theo Walcott, Hulk. We've had um, Chong as well. We've had um, that... Vasquez, or I think I think it was Lucas Vasquez as well for the uh, for the milestone objective. Politano was a milestone objective. So yeah, the, 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 there's basically a lot of right midfielders. But from the Bundesliga, he is a good, solid right midfielder. There's no doubt about that. And also his final pro as well will also be his passing. He picks me up two assists in the four games, which is a decent return. He's not, uh, you know, as I mentioned, he's got fantastic passing. That's 85 vision, um, 85 short passing. The artist comes out, takes his uh, takes his uh, vision up to 98. His crossing up to 88. His short passing up to 89, which is fantastic. And I have to say, um, all round a joy of a card to use. He was very, very impressive. I really, really liked him. Yes, he's a lot of coins, and obviously there is the kind of risk that there is 
you know, th there's no guarantee that Borussia Dortmund will qualify over the last 16. The chances are they probably will. Um, as long as they beat Slavia Prague, th I I'm pretty certain that just guarantees them qualification. So it is in their own hands to be able to qualify. If they don't, then they've blew it themselves and they've let Inter Milan land them with a chance. But overall, I think they will go from the last 16. And obviously, he'll go from an 86 to an 87 rated, which would be pretty damn awesome. But just as an 86, good cards. I'm certainly probably one of the best uh, right midfielders that you can get, certainly from the Bundesliga. But anyway, guys, that's going to finish this play. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.